Hello from Sustrans, the charity that makes it easier for you to walk, wheel and cycle. We work with schools to raise awareness of why it's good to travel actively. Walking, wheeling and cycling to school can help keep our air clean and that's what we're here today to talk to you about because today is Clean Air Day. Birmingham City Council have asked you to create a clean air charter for your school. But first, here are some pupils like you to explain what air pollution is, why it's an issue and how we can keep our air clean on the journey to and from school. Hello, we are PLT. PLT means Pupil Leadership Team. These are Emmy and Axia from Sustrans. Sustrans is a charity which helps you walk, wheel and cycle more. Every year in June, we have Clean Air Day. We really hope your school um, po um, takes part in the activities. We celebrate having cleaner air and make pledges to do even more for the environment. What makes the air polluted? Dust, smoke, soot, which comes from chimneys, ash and invisible pollutants are all deadly for the environment. These can be from traffic industries, farming, animals who produce methane, and natural occurrences, for example volcanoes, which, which produce volcanic ash that is really toxic. Here is a quick example. Here are three glasses of water. Which would you drink out of? And glass one. Yeah. Yeah. Glass two. Mm -hmm. Sure. Or glass three. Sure. sure. The first glass contains mud and one trick. You would not want to drink this. The second glass looks clear but it has salt dissolved in it. The third glass is normal drinking water. Similarly, air pollution can be visible like, like ash, soot or smoke or it can be invisible and that's even more dangerous because it enters your bloodstream through the thin skin of your lungs. What is the problem? Our health can be directly affected by the polluted air. Thing illnesses like asthma, heart diseases and diabetes can worsen and, uh, and, your, and your immune system becomes weaker. Another problem is cars being parked outside school with their engines left on. Let's see how long Alicia takes to blow up balloons in 30 seconds. Go! You can do Go it, Alicia! Alicia. You, can you can do it! You can do it! You can do it! children blow up in one minute. That's right, 120. If 30 children produce a dirt pretty balloon of polluted air, how many balloons does one car parked outside of the school with the engine when it produced? It's actually 250 balloonfuls of polluted air in just one minute. That's a lot. What can we do? A lot. Think about how you get to school. Do you walk, cycle, scoot, use a bus, taxi? Which of these makes the least air pollution? Walking? Well done. It's walking, scooting, wheeling or cycling. Does a car just stay for one minute when it's waiting outside a school with its engine running? I don't think so. It's usually a lot longer. And is it just one car? 
not at all. It's plenty of different cars at different gateways outside the school. So cars with their engines running create a lot of pollution in terms of um, times, pick up times and drop off times at schools. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful clean air day. Bye! Bye. Bye. Now you've heard a little bit about air pollution, did you know that it affects everyone in Birmingham, especially you as young people? So what more can you do to start making our air cleaner? Today in Birmingham, a clean air celebration event is taking place where some of your friends are presenting your school's clean air charter to us at Sustrans and Birmingham City Council. Your Clean Air Charter is a creative plan for your school to state the rights you have to clean air with some goals for you to take to reduce air pollution in and around your school. The school gates are an area of your school where you can be exposed to air pollution, so maybe focusing on this could be one of your school charter goals. This is your opportunity to play your part and get involved. The good news is that small changes can make a big, real, lasting difference to you and your whole school community.